Pro going this morning. Chris squared, man. Yeah. How's it going? There you go. And uh, JP? Yeah, it's going. Good meet you. There you go, one of those, man. <laughs> cool. What's up, Kev? Good morning. What's up, man? Thank you. Here with the group again. We're diving a new spot today, uh, area we've never explored yet. Uh, from there, we're going to go look for some crab and top the day up with some bivalves. My wife's family is here from Bermuda and Alberta. Uh, so we're going to treat them to some seafood. We're going to cook up that octopus. And I took a couple rockfish and a link cod filet out of the freezer as well. Should have a nice seafood feast. And to top it off, get in the water, dive around. Uh, so we've got a cow. we got Chris and JP, a new recruit out. So fun times today. I was really tempted to go dive one of the regular spots. In fact, Cal convinced me to do otherwise. I'm pretty stoked I agreed because we came across another gem. The scenery was beautiful and the diving was superb. Plus, exploring is my favorite part. It can be hit and miss, but when it's a hit, it's a hit. Somehow, the visibility went from two meters the week before to roughly 15 meters seven days later. Don't bother trying to predict visibility. It's a meaningless pursuit. I thought we were gonna be diving in a mud puddle again. The sea floor was sandy, but rocks and boulders were scattered about, which provided habitat for a fair amount of lingcod and rockfish. This is what I like to call Bermuda fizz. We saw lots of juvenile lingcod, too small to harvest, but nice on the ice. Every so often while I'm editing, I wonder how I ever got myself out of the water. Conditions like this are few and far between. Oh, what I'd give to go back in time. This was the first sun star I've seen in a new Bay. Hopefully a sign of change. The sky was beautiful too. How's it going there, Link Cod? We came across a massive bait ball. I'm thinking these may be newly hatched herring, but that's just a guess. They were quite small, and the GoPro did a lousy job of picking them up. With the good visibility, it was pretty awesome. We wrapped up the dive with some sea cucumber harvesting from my wife's father. He loves random particular food, so I thought these would be right up his alley. That spot was really nice, kind of an unexpected surprise. Visibility was crystal clear. We were here last week and it was maybe one, two meters at best. Right now, I think we, we marked it at about 50 foot fizz. Uh, so pretty damn awesome. I uh, got a couple sea cucumber, gonna add that to the seafood feast. Now we're gonna go look for some crab at a different spot and as noted, finish up the day with some clamming. Uh, but yeah, what a great area. I saw those bait balls, a uh, bunch of link on. All just under size, but hey, you never know what's out there. And a lot of rockfish too. Really, really nice. I think the visibility was the best part. Uh, but yeah, round two, hit the road. Visibility here is looking great. Nice and crystal clear. I uh, might do some recreational diving and crabbing. Some people think you're either a harvester or a diver. I don't like being labeled one or the other. Sure, I harvest from the ocean, but for the most part, I enter the water to spend time interacting and viewing wildlife. But if I can bring some sustainably caught seafood home for the family and I, why wouldn't I? I made a few attempts at catching a rock sole by hand, but eventually I gave up and I just enjoyed their beauty instead. They're pretty fascinating fish. Cal had the caliper, so I just measured my crab on shore. Two of the three were keepers. We found some old pilings on the bottom. Looks like a pier might have stood here once upon a time. That would explain all the old bottles I was finding. It was our lucky day. The visibility was good enough. This was just a bonus. The ocean treated us good. I wanted to return the favor. On the way out, we saw some giant nudibranch and a plain fin midship man. They're kinda cute. 
We all did pretty good with the crabbing, and I found two new bottles and a jar to add to the collection. No real monetary value, but treasure in my eyes. Last spot, a little bit windy to talk into the camera, but we're gonna go look for some bivalves, some oysters, and some clams. Hopefully you find them here, new spot, and have a big old feast tonight. My friend Blake with Washington Fish Quest brought up a good point. For one that only eats seafood self-harvested, I've opened up my options by 25% by harvesting bivalves. So they say when, you, uh, when you're done clamming, uh, bury the clams that you undug, and then that way they won't get picked off by seagulls, because they do have to measure 1.38 inches, 35 millimeters, and uh, ones that come up short, you want them to grow big and healthy, uh, so we can grab those ones later. Last stop, some oysters, they were really, really good last week. We put them on the barbecue, wait till they popped open, covered them in butter, basically boiled them in the butter, and then I threw some seasoning salt on there and some cheese and they're super good. I don't really eat them raw. I'm sure there's a bacteria that can get you sick if you do. So I like to cook them. But check this out. Oyster galore. Everywhere out here. Uh, so yeah, we're just gonna grab our limit and then take off. Dinner tonight, seafood feast. All right, that's a wrap. Time to go back and deal with all this food. A uh, good harvest today. Got a bunch of oysters. Got our clam limit, uh, 60 each. We got uh, three, three crabs in there. I found two and a cow gave me one of his and also I think like, I don't know, six sea cucumber. Ah, love harvesting from the west coast here. How many of you know where the seafood in your fridge or freezer came from? How many of you remember that precise moment in time it was harvested? Harvesting seafood for me isn't about shooting fish or bragging rights. It's about living a sustainable lifestyle and spreading that message through video to maybe help inspire others. Why are we buying farmed salmon from Chile when we have so much substance at our doorstep? I'm proud of what I do. I'm proud of the fish, octopus, bivalves, and sea cucumber I'm fortunate enough to be able to go out and harvest for my family. Something tells me the majority are not showing off the seafood they purchase from their local grocery store. Each piece of protein I bring to the table has a story and memory attached. And those stories will live on through these videos for hopefully my lifetime and beyond. If that's not showing my food respect, I don't know what is. Jasmine and I had a massive seafood cookout for her family and I, and that will be an experience I'll never forget. I hope everyone liked this video, and maybe I provided a little food for thought. I love the ocean and all its creatures, even the tasty ones. Peace and love, everyone. Throw the video a thumbs up, it really helps my channel out. Thanks.